now you can simply double click on the title and change the title whatever you want to or you can simply right click and choose from the fill options that you have Hello everyone and welcome to my channel MI Tutorials. This is a very exciting tutorial wherein I'm going to show you the new features which Power BI has released in the month of March 2023. There is a specific feature that I am excited about. It's called as on object interaction. This feature changes the way how you create your visuals in the report and also changes the way how you format these visuals. So without any further ado, let's get started with this tutorial. For this new feature to work, you will have to enable this in the preview features. For this, you need to go to file, click on options and settings, click on options, go to preview features and then scroll down and enable on object interaction. So when you check this box and click on OK, it will tell you that you need to restart your application. I'm going to click on OK and then restart my application. Now that I have restarted my application, you will see that you are now greeted with a new look of your Power BI desktop wherein you don't see the visualizations pane anymore. Now when you go to the home tab, you will see this particular section over here showing all the visuals that you have in your report. And this is where you create your visuals. Now we no more have the visualization pane, thus also sort of um, giving us a little more room to play around with our visuals over here. I kind of like this particular layout because we had a dedicated visualization pane over here which used to take some of the space and now it has moved under the home tab it makes us a little easier and this also is more like the excel way because in excel we find all of these visuals where we can select from in one of the tabs. So now to show you the additional features, let me load a sample data set here from the uh, sample data that we have in Power BI. I'm going to load the financials table here and click on load. Now that our data is loaded, you will notice that of course we do not have the visualization pane anymore over here, but also the data section where we see our table and columns that also is not visible. So for that, what you need to do is you need to go to view over here and select the data option over here. Now you will see that we have a pane which contains the table and the column information of our particular data set. Likewise, we have some more options over here. We now no more get another pane for the format section. All of that is now embedded into one particular section. So if I check in format, bookmarks, selection, performance analyzer and all of that, all of that is now bundled under one single pane with these icons to switch from. They of course come with some disadvantages as well, which we will park it aside for now. We will move ahead showcasing the other features in this release. So let's go back to the home tab and let's start building our visuals over here. So I'm going to click on country and select sales over here. So Power BI has automatically added the bar chart for me over here. And these are the suggested types for the fields that I have added, which is country and sale. Now, if you want to add more fields to your data set, there are multiple ways of doing it. You can simply drag and drop the field that you want to be added into your visual or you can also click on add data over here. You will get a dialog box over here showcasing all the fields that you have and then you can choose what you want to display in that particular visual. Now that these visuals are being created based on what Power BI is suggesting you, you also have a toggle over here to turn this off and get a little more of freedom to sort of choose what you want in your Y axis, in your X axis, in your legend, or if you want to create a small multiple, etc. So you have that option as well. And from this drop down, you can choose the different visuals that you have in your dashboard. Now I'm going to show you some more exciting features. So now that we've created this particular chart over here, let's say you want to add in data labels to this particular chart. The way you used to do this earlier was go to the format pane, look for data labels and turn them on. Now what you can do simply do is click on this particular icon over here, which will give you a list of things that you can add to your visual. And there you have data labels. You can simply check this box and you have your data labels added. And you also have the zoom slider. If you want to add a zoom slider, you can do that. And you can also uncheck and remove the zoom slider. You can uncheck legend. You can uncheck X axis, Y axis, title of your chart, etc. This is a really good option with just a couple of clicks. We can add in a lot of elements to our visuals. Now that I have added data labels and let's say if I want to edit my data labels and I instead of having one decimal place, I want to show two decimal place. What you can now do is you can double click the chart and get into edit mode. So how you can do that is right now, let's say I have, I have not selected this visual. I can single click on the visual. Now my visual is selected. I have a black border showing that this visual has been selected. 
When I double click on this visual, this turns into a blue border, which is saying that it is now in edit mode and I can make changes to this particular visual. So now let's say if I want to add two more decimals to this particular uh, data label over here, I can simply right click and this enables a host of options for me to change. If I want to increase the font size, I can simply do that by increasing the font size. If I want them bold, I can do that. And if I want to add decimal places or remove decimal places, I can simply do that from here. And you also get an option to change the units here in terms of thousands or millions or if you want auto. And if you think that you are not able to find any of the options in this particular section over here, you can always go to format data lab labels and this is where it will open the format pane and wherein you can make the changes required for your particular data label. Now let's say if you want to change the colors of this particular bar over here, you can simply right click and choose from the fill options that you have to any other color that you want. The right click option is not just for the data labels and for colors, but also for the title. Now you can simply double click on the title and change the title, whatever you want to. For example, I want to change this to sales by product. And let's say if you want to make some formatting changes to this, you can simply right click and change the increase the font size. You can change the background of that particular title and then you can also center align them. All of these options are right here with a single right click and you can you also have an option to reset to default. An additional feature that they have added along with the title here is called as subtitle. Now you can turn this subtitle on and have some additional information related to that particular visual. Let's say sum of sales by product and discount band for example and I can change the text color over here to white. Now this is the uh, additional information that you can add related to that particular visual so that your end users are aware of what they are looking at. Likewise if you just want to change the values over here and just save product and country I can simply double click here and change the values instead of sum of sales let's say I just want to show this as sales I can double click and change the values right on this particular chart just like the way how you do this in Excel. So these were the different functionalities which Power BI has added in its on object interaction feature. I hope you guys are excited to try them out. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.